yeah i just gained like 120 mmr since last session so it's not a lot but mm-hmm. i couldn't play a lot so that's the thing so uh, i think i was 2 2.5 exactly when we last spoke now i'm 2625 so 125 mmr okay well that's good but how do you feel like uh, in terms of your play like do you feel like you're better yeah yeah i um anyway we'll go through the replay but uh the basic thing about the carry play like you know split pushing and uh, <clears throat> picking fights that are favorable not like grouping up in the mid lane and stuff like that that mm-hmm. has been reduced so that's a good thing okay that's good yeah are you recording already uh, i can be do you want me to yeah you can yeah go ahead sure all right more views for you all right excellent thank you um okay so why don't you like me or dot about really quickly so i can take oh, yeah. a peek one sec there you go thank you oh yep okay i remember the icon excellent okay sharing screen there we go okay okay So yeah, you haven't gotten to play too too much, but it's okay. You get like a couple games a day, which is not bad at all. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm working right, so it's yeah, no, I tough. totally understand. Uh, okay, that's all fine. Um, do you have any replay in particular that you want to watch? Um, since we did a troll session last, I think we can do another troll session in which I think I did. uh i did what you were like teaching me mm-hmm. uh, i mean what you teach to everyone like you know you know be fundamentals so i think we can go for uh, one two three, fourth game sure. which i which we won but i want you to be like completely brutally honest with me like whether i could have done way better whether it could have been like 20 minutes shorter the game you know mm-hmm. like that no, yeah. of course i can do that Okay. So, item soon for Silver Edge with SNY and BKB. Okay. That's a little strange, but it's okay. You're very HP heavy. Um, okay. So, you want for Silver Edge because of the Timber Sock, correct? Yeah, Timber and Bloodseeker. Okay. Yeah, it's it's okay against Bloodseeker, but the real one is Timber Saw. That's like the real reason you would yeah, go for it. Is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, obviously. Okay. It's also pretty good against sniper too, but um yeah, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. You can, uh, you know, gank him from behind and stuff. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Yeah, I don't have too many issues with your items in this game. Um you also could have gone for a blink. Um but you're six slotted, so it doesn't matter so much. Um you could actually get blink instead of SNY in this game, like way later on if you want to sell it. Um but that's really weird. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead now. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you could get blink instead of SNY or Silver Edge in this game. Um later on if you find that you guys are just team fighting a lot, um it's really really good against sniper and oracle. Um but yeah. It's kind of just a play style thing. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Other than that, your item choices look pretty fine. Um the BKB is a little weird. What's your reasoning for going BKB? Um BKB uh over here like against the tempo solely i mean it's just uh, it's just it's just good i on troll i mean i don't want any like i don't want oracle oracle to like do that heaven's halberd on me or you know okay that that's a good enough answer so chuck ram and all that yeah that's good enough um the real the real reason you would go big be in this game is 100% because of the oracle um him being able yeah. to disarm you is kind of like really bad uh so you know buying a bkb for that purpose totally fine um i just want to know you yeah reasoning. because when i see an oracle pick i i immediately like feel like okay he knows what he has to do in this game you know because yeah. i play oracle quite a bit although i don't win games with him it's tough to support the team with oracle but because half of the people don't know what his skills are right right but i know i know each and every skill of his and Uh, it's very good against troll his ultimate his uh, all all that shit yeah no he's great um okay so i like your items totally fine you start with uh q totally fine it doesn't give damage anymore unfortunately but it is good yeah okay 
Okay. Yeah. Well, I think in our last session, I uh, got the second skill first, if mm-hmm. you remember, for the slow. Yeah. Yes. When but I you're going for the a couple there. I, I get the first, first skill. Yeah, that's correct. That's how you should do it. Okay. So there was some weird stuff going on. I mean, Kato was blasting the wave, so it's just strange. Um, yeah, it's just a weird situation. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, not much I you can do about that. it's lagging a lot. I'm not able to. Okay, I'll reset it here. Okay, how's it now? I don't see it yet. One sec. Wait, let me switch off my... Yeah. Um, it's... Okay, and I play it. It's going. Okay. Um, it's all right, I guess. It's <laughs> like, so. I mean, what I kind of lag are we talking? Uh, two second lag. I mean, if it's two seconds delay, or like uh, um, not delay, like uh, it, you like have lag spikes of two seconds. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's kind of bad. Yeah, okay, now it's kind of okay. Okay. And now it's fine. okay. Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, kind of okay is good enough. Um, let's go back then. So it was all the way back here where we're talking about that. Here, you, like the lane just gets pushed to your tower because uh, Kato pulls. Standard stuff. Not much to talk about. This was okay. This was almost good. It was a good idea and a good act of zoning. And this is something you do want to do, but you just want to wait a little tiny bit until you're out of creep range. Like if you'd gone like you know a centimeter up, you would have been totally fine. This would have been a great play. Oh. Oh, but yeah. because you take aggro, it's it's bad. Um, you definitely need to switch aggro here. So you need to like attack your your neutral creeps or your um your allied creeps to switch the aggro off the range creep. Yeah. So that's pretty important. I need to judge. I need to know the exact diameter of the aggro. Mm-hmm. That's important. Also, never ever skill fervor level two. Always get second skill. Hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I think at that point, since we're chasing the Bloodseeker, I thought... Oh yeah, it's a uh, bad choice. Yeah, yeah, it's like, okay, so if, <laughs> no, if that's your no, reasoning, no. then it's even worse. I was gonna let it slide, yeah. just be like, okay, you know, maybe you skilled the wrong thing or whatever, but no. If you're chasing, you definitely want the slow in the nukes. Um, that's yeah. just, like, not even an argument. Um, okay, so that's fine. Uh, you tried to pull there, it looks like, but you messed it up, that's okay. Okay. Um... It's really important that you are looking at the HP values of the creeps. So from here on, like from this point on pretty much, when you pull the creeps back, you stop looking at the creep values or the creep HP values. Like you don't even know what Oracle is doing right now. You have no idea what he's doing. You can only tell based on what he's attacking. Like you need to be looking at like this instead, or at least move your camera a little bit to see what's going on here. Like you're just kind of like running away from uh you know, a monster on the other side of your screen, like uh, out of your vision range. It's like you're in a horror movie or something. Um, you've never actually seen the monster, you're just running away from it because it's making scary noises. You definitely need to actively look and like see what's going on. Okay. I'm going to like n- take a note of these points in the our chat. I mean, in our message chat. That's oh, okay, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely get used to doing that. Okay, that's good. Creep aggro trick. You missed the CS, but that's totally fine. Like that's part of the practice. That was that was a very very good thing to do. Um, you want to implement this more and more as often as you can. This was really good. I watched it from all your videos only, so mm-hmm. it's thanks to you. Good. Well, it's good that you've uh, you've learned that. It's definitely something that can be applied like over and over again in a single game. So. Okay. This wasn't a bad idea. If you want, right here, instead of going for um, like melee hits, you can actually like pop your W for your, your melee W, like the swirling axes, then switch to range, slow him, and then continue running at him. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, you, yeah, you, would yeah. swap to, you would swap back to melee. So the combo would be something like W, or B in melee form, W, ranged, plus W, 
so you would uh, switch to range and then uh, press W fast again in order to slow him, and then switch back to melee form. Mm -hmm. So you can chase him with that. That would be like how you would approach that uh, that harass. Um, that would be a pretty good option. You probably won't get a kill, but um, that would do a big chunk of damage. That would be good. Okay, and it's also not too like mana inefficient. Okay, this is fine. One downside is you don't have any more regen, which kind of sucks, but you are getting close. Okay, I was going to say, you are getting close to the point where you can get a, a Helm of the Iron Will, but you end up buying a Bassi, I think? Um, oh, Bassi and Tangos. Okay, that's fine. That's acceptable. Yeah. Um, you definitely need some kind of regen. So I was going to say just buy a Helm of the Iron Will, and that would be okay at the side shop, but this is totally fine as well. This is a good buy. I mean, since they're pushing the wave constantly, it's tough to walk up there. You know? Yeah, no, for sure. Okay, you might have been able to slow this guy. It's a bit iffy. Um, he is playing pretty far back. Yeah. Um, I do think he should chase here though. Does Ricky have an orb of venom? Yeah, he does. Uh, it's tough to say. I, don't, I actually don't think that this is like a good, um, good chase attempt. I think Ricky rushes a little bit too much. That's okay. Okay, so now you want to be making sure, like now that you have your ult, you want to like kind of keep an eye on the map and just see like who's fighting where. And uh, if you see that some heroes are fighting, like uh, okay, these guys look like they're fighting right now, you could just flick your camera up and see like okay, would Dragonite benefit from having more attack speed right now? Um, that's like something you can add to your troll play. That will help. Yeah. At this point, um, hmm. okay, not at this point. There's not a whole lot you can do here. Yeah. I didn't want to walk into that thing also, you know? Yeah, no, you're not supposed to. That's fine. But they kept the sentry ward at the right time. Mm. Nope, for sure. That was a good play on their part. Okay. Let's find you back up after going for a harass. Yeah, uh, at this point I see Bloodseeker is almost going to turn 6 and Oracle is not leaving the lane at all. Right. So I thought I should play safe and just back off the jungle. No. Yeah, this is fine. I have no issues with this, really. Although I have no lifesteal, mm. but... Yeah, you don't have a stout shield either, which is a little concerning, but it's okay. Um, you don't really need lifesteal. Um, you can just get a Helm of the Iron Well as well. That's fine. Um, Troll is tanky enough to where you can just do that. Um, mm. Especially right, with this melee form. Instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was fine. That was an okay time to back, and it's also good that you farmed your way down. That, that was really good. You you made good use of your time there. Okay, you should check Timber Saw's items when he comes in. Okay, definitely don't... Yeah, I don't think you should attempt this. You don't have the, the regen to do this, um, to do two big camps at the same time. It'd be totally fine if you just pulled this. Like, that would be completely fine. Like, uh, all you need to do is pull this into your creep wave and then uh, do it with your creeps. That would be completely fine. That'd be really good. Mm -hmm. You mean the 53 pull? Yep. Okay. Okay, definitely be careful about harassing this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the harass from the creeps itself, so at this point I was like, okay, not mm -hmm. a good choice. Yeah. Okay, you go back to farming. Um, why, did, why are you going back here? Like, why are you farming uh, now? Or jungling now, anyway? Uh, it's just I felt that there was someone else. I mean, I was scared of the Bloodseeker rupture or something. Okay. Um, so if you're standing I mean, under would... tower, you're, you're honestly okay. Like uh, Timber doesn't even have—he doesn't have that much mana. He does have a soaring, so he can get like his his combo off. But um, that's all he has. It's, I wouldn't worry too much about getting uh, ruptured. Mm -hmm. And plus, you have a TP, so it really doesn't matter at all. Okay. Okay. Definitely make sure you buy a second TP soon. 
Okay, at least you have life steal now, so you can stay sustained or keep sustaining. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, I have a doubt. Huh. Mm, this fifty-three pull thing, right? Like, yeah. um, when you when you pretty much like farmed up your boots or whatever life steal. Like, take let's take troll for example. He has face boots and helm. Let's say by you know six seven minutes. That's a, like a really good farm. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, when do you start the fifty-three pull and when do you like push and like how like? Okay, so. It's basically you you pull when you want to farm and you push when you you want to push like that's all it is. Um, okay, so you push when you would want to push is when the offlaner can't get experience or when you want to take the tower. Um, if the offlaner is not there, then you usually want to push. If the offlaner is there, then you usually want to pull and just farm really fast. Um, but it it honestly depends, and we could talk for you know days about that. Um, I usually end up like pulling for a little bit and then take the tower later on. Um, but that's just me. Yeah. Basically, like, ideally you would pull until um, you are tanky enough to jungle really quickly. So maybe you have, like, phase Aquila, HOD. And then you can just start pushing. That's fine as well. Um, or if you're another hero, like, let's say... I don't know... Luna or Morphling, who are going for, like, Dragonlance. Something like that. Um, you could pull until you get Dragonlance and then safely push the tower. Something like that. Um, really, there's no set in stone, you know, method of doing it. Um, it's really just about what you want for that particular game. In this game, since you constantly have people in lane, I would say constantly pull and just mess with them um, and just try to farm as much as you can. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it does. Yeah. Okay. So back goes on you. Fairly... It's kind of scary. I kind of thought he would lasso you, but he doesn't have it. Okay, that's fine. Um, why did it? Why did you ult when you ran away here? Was it just panic? Um, I don't, yeah, panic. Yeah. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> it doesn't help at all. It only gives attack speed. I so. mean, since my second skill was on cooldown, so maybe that's why. I do. Uh, it still doesn't help. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know DK had blink also over here so that's also a thing i was almost like hugging the tower by then then he blinked in uh kind of yeah yeah he tp to rescue me i guess i don't know but okay yeah you're basically under tower by the time he blinked um and he also didn't mm -hmm. ping or anything um i guess like you could have inferred that um he was going to do something if he's tping but yeah uh also if you had ult right now he actually you might have been able to help him kill the sniper. Um, that with your nuke. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't worry about this too much. It's fine. Um, you pretty much just yeah. had to run away there. I don't like that you re-engaged at the end there, but yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah, at this point, they're like still chasing me. Yeah, you're, you're probably going to die. Um, so you actually end up dying because you re-engage, which really sucks. Um, you still have stick, but it's not going to save you in most cases. I think I would try to use it, but Sniper does so much damage with Assassinate that I don't know if it's even feasible. Um, yeah. You definitely... No, you know, wouldn't Oracle nuked, oh, he nuked me right before that thing hit mm -hmm. me. Yeah, so you, you weren't going to live. There was no chance. Um, okay. So you saw the Batrider before you die. There's not much to talk about here, honestly. It's just like, you re-engaging was not good. Um, that's one of those moments where you just kind of like have to let your teammates die. <laughs> uh, they kind of killed themselves, yeah. and you shouldn't punish yourself for that as well, you know, because they made a mistake. Yeah, in this in this game, I let them die. I mean, I'm constantly split pushing or doing something, and if they're like fighting in a weird weird place, I I would just give them an ult to help them. Mm -hmm. but that seems fine. I wouldn't I wouldn't join them most yeah. of the times. That's and, good. Uh, yeah, and normally like. My last is aren't that great, but it's better than uh, how I used to play before. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I've actively seen you like try to go farm and stuff, so that's that's good. Um, I do think you're making a slight mistake here. Um, it's tough to say because like, so many people are missing right now. Uh, Timber's top, Sniper's bottom, and I don't think you can see this guy. Yeah, you guys don't have a ward here, so you don't actually see him. Um, so you don't see Batrider, so it is kind of scary to show in lane. Um, juggling here is probably fine. 
Um, ideally, you could ask for a lane ward. That would help a lot. Mm -hmm. I had I, I didn't communicate at all in this game. Okay, no, that's fine. No talking, only focused on my own play. That's totally fine. I just yeah, I just gave them some positive mental attitude kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I became a lot more uh, positive. I, I just talk positive stuff in my games now. Like don't give up, or you know whatever's available in the chat wheel, I just give it to them. Okay, uh, that's totally fine. And one more trick that I uh, kind of like learned from Reddit, one guy posted it. He's like, he comments one person immediately in the beginning. So I developed the habit. I usually comment the support for buying chicken ward and I comment him immediately. And some other guy is like, okay, swap, comment with me. And, you know, it starts off in a positive way. Uh huh. That's good. Um, I don't have anything against that. I just like that's not something I do at all. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's a bit cheesy for me. I definitely could not do that. Uh, but I mean, by all <laughs> means, if it makes you happy, go for it. I'm not gonna judge you yeah, for that. I mean, it. Uh, no one flames after that. At least no one flames me. You know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Go for it then. By all means. Um. Okay. So let's talk about Dota stuff then. So. Here, you kind of had this like example of, um, okay, you push up into lane at all, and you get Yules by the timber, and they go on you. Um, you don't actually die or like take really much damage at all, but it's still kind yeah, of a threat. I knew I would survive this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah there's there's scared. pretty much, there's no way they can kill you here, so you're fine. Um, then, this is a little weird. Like, you, you decide to go to the small camp and then go top. Um, I like the decision overall to go top. I think that's really smart, especially since like you have teammates that are pressuring mid. This is great. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, in this game, I was like constantly counting the number of enemy heroes I would see after like pretty much every. Okay, good. Every time I see them, you know, in the mini map. Yeah. Even good. if I don't physically see what they're up to. Right. Uh, no, that's like, what you want to uh, do. Yeah, I was like, okay, two mid, two plus one, three, like that, you know, constantly mm -hmm. like thinking where I should be to farm. Yeah, so, that's what you want to do. Um, in this case here. What you want to do is you want to, like, instead of running straight back to lane, um, since you have so much vision over here and in this area, you want to just go to this camp and start farming it right away. Um, since, like, you're scared of this for whatever reason, I think Batrider might not be showing or whatever, but I think you should still be pushing personally since your teammates are fighting down here. But that's whatever. Um, if you're not going to push, in this case, you should just go straight to the camp. Um, so you're doing something in the meantime. But you end up going back to push, which is the right choice. It's good. Oracle can't stop you, so... Also, what are you doing with your creep? I think this is yours. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing I need to like practice more. Like, mm. Be aware of 52, you know? Yeah, well, you can use your, your Dominator for other things, too. You don't have to just use it for stacking. Um, especially in games like this, it's good to use it for scouting. Um, like, if you're scared of Batrider and Bloodseeker, and yet they're, like there are a bunch of threats, it's a good idea to use it for scouting as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, again, in this case, it doesn't make sense to just go back. Um, no, no, no. Uh, I think I will go back. I mean, this is the thing. I mean, uh, since I'm, like, applying this stuff and I'm pretty new to it, it takes me, like, some time. I think I go back top now. Yeah, no, that, that's good. I mean, I'm just, like, you asked me to call you out and stuff, so, like, I'm yeah. calling you out here. Um, there's no reason for you to back here. Definitely, you, you missed out on some time. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah. This is good though. I like that you're keeping track of like what's going on down there. Um, definitely just go straight to tower here. You want to pressure them as much as you can. Um, you don't have time to do this small camp. Like you want to you want to get somebody to TP here so that like uh, they miss out on whatever's happening bottom. Um, okay, then <laughs> you get recalled bottom for whatever yeah. reason. Um, this actually isn't that bad. You guys should go take bottom here. This is actually like totally fine. It would have been better if you could get some damage on top tower, but this is fine. That was a pretty good recall. Okay. Microphone functional. Microphone disabled. So you guys get yeah, tower this, back off. This fight was pretty awkward. Mm -hmm. It looks awkward. Okay, you guys get aura golds. Okay, you buy your Yash items. Cool. Oh no, no. Your Benevolent skin. Holy shit. Yeah. 
don't ask. Okay, that's a. I was like, what the hell? That's actually hilarious. Holy shit, because you're at the side shop. It bought it there. Okay, yeah. That's Dota. I didn't know that would happen. You know, I thought it would like. Mm. The whole. And I didn't have the time to like. It, yeah, you'd have to like sell your or drop your TP. No, you'd have to like sell your coiling blade or something to pick it up. Such so as funny. Um, I guess lesson learned. So, yeah. Yeah. Not much to say about I that. Mean, I think that's the mistake of the game more than. Uh, maybe. I mean, I haven't seen anything like really big. I'd I'd call this stuff much more important than that. Um, like the stuff what? that happened around top. Oh, sorry, I didn't get you. Uh, like, so, when you were just, like, going back and forth at top instead of just pushing really hard, I think that would be a bigger mistake than, you know, the Band of Elven skin thing. Oh, okay. Okay, so, what what's happening in this fight? Let's actually look. So, Timber comes in, he clears the wave a little bit after you guys get the tower. Sniper shows in River. Um, right away, this should kind of signal to you that, like, there's potential for a fight when Sniper just shows in River like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because, like, he's pretty caught out. He has a Shadow Blade, but still. Okay, luckily Batrider dies before it gets any spells off. Um, Timber is relatively low mana, but... Okay. I think you guys could have fought this. I don't I don't see why you would just run away here. Um, you still have a Ricky, you still have a Jug. Jug's relatively... Uh, he's not super strong, but... Um, he's pretty strong. Timber doesn't have any mana, and Bloodseeker is relatively squishy, and he's also pretty low. Um, I don't, I don't think there's any reason to just run away here. You just ignore the, um, ignore the Timber because he's literally useless. Um, kill the Bloodseeker, and then try to kill the Sniper. Um, they do have Oracle, which is kind of a pain. Um, yeah, it, it's like you guys would have to fight and use Ricky Smoke Cloud well, but I think turning here is totally possible. Okay, well, whatever, that's fine. It's better to, you know, run and live and fight another day, so to speak. Yeah, I just felt I wasn't comfortable. I mean... Yeah, that's totally fine. If you, like, if you don't know how to approach a fight, then don't, don't take it. That's okay. Yeah. Now, heroes are not exactly, like, mass CC heroes, you know? Mm-hmm. So... Right. I don't know. I was just feeling awkward about the whole thing. That's fine. So I just walked out, you know? Yeah, so I see them push mid, so I push top instead. Hmm. Oh my god. There's no yeah. way that just happens. Lasso yeah, got used and everything, okay. Yeah. Because he didn't actually damage you. Holy fuck. Okay, you're, the thing is, like, this wasn't a good lasso. <laughs> it wouldn't have made any sense, really. Um, okay, he can see that I'm being uh, recalled. He can I, believe see so. I believe so, yeah. But it wasn't a good and lasso he because he didn't have it? any follow-up. Uh, no, he can. He just has to do damage to you. Okay. So if he flame breaks before you know he did that, he would have gotten you. But either way, it doesn't matter because like he had nobody to do damage here. Um, it doesn't make any sense for him to to do that. But anyway, it it works out really nicely. Um, you get to push mid. Okay. Yeah. And one great thing about this style of playing, like split push. Um, even though I don't have any that many kills, only through pure, pure farm I kept up with the sniper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sniper's four one and four. Yeah. <laughs> he has your brand of heaven skin. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, that's funny. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Man, that's harsh. It's like he has a, a token. Okay. Okay, so what's going on here? Like, what what's your what's going through your brain right now? Right now, um. Okay, I was recall mid. I was just hoping that we would get a good fight rather than. Uh... Okay, so yeah, I get what you mean. Um, in that case, like that's wrong. You should definitely be like looking for something else, and you do like pretty quickly. You end up going top. It looks like um, should be in lane, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, this playstyle is so counterintuitive. You know. Yeah. Which... No, it is weird. Uh, it just uh, and it's tough to like uh, you need to like constantly be aware like when to split push mm -hmm. before I mean before that I would always be absent-mindedly farming or just you know rotating through the jungle yeah it definitely it, it takes like a, an entire mentality shift to really start to cut you off there but um it definitely is something like 
it, it becomes easier once um, like the farming patterns and the split pushing and like doing that first com becomes automatic. Then you don't have to think nearly as much. Um, and you can think about other stuff. That's when, you know, it gets really good. Yeah. Okay. So that's why like it took me like five, six seconds to understand, okay, now I can push the lane. Right. You know, every right. time. So. I get that. Um, here, instead of saying bottom, like in this area, uh, it makes more sense to start from here and then work your way down this way. So like, okay. see how you're waiting for the this to respawn. Yeah. It makes more sense to start from the top. Um, why? Okay, I, think... I didn't know the radius was that big. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. It's pretty large. A lot of people will put a ward here so that they block the camp and also uh, give vision. I don't think that's too good personally. I think this ward is totally fine. But yeah. Um, yeah. So you you ended up blocking this, I think. Yeah, you did. Okay. Oh, whatever. That's fine. Um. Still, next time it makes more sense. Like it's more intuitive to start down this way and then farm your way down. Mm -hmm. um, how do you see the boxes in the game? Like I don't know the control for that. Okay, so it's Alt, but you have to check. Um, where is it? Advanced hot keys. I think it might be under options. Holding Alt. Oh, yeah, here it is. Holding Alt shows neutral spawn boxes. So you want to en enable that. Okay. Fine. Fine. All right. Thanks for that. Yeah, of course. Okay, you're getting recalled again to a team fight. Oh, this is, I mean, this is great. Okay, you guys almost get a kill. That's tough. Okay. Definitely not gathering enough information here. Um, it's really, really important that, like, when you're running away from this fight, or when you're just doing anything, that you're watching the fight. Like you don't, you can click over here once. You can click like your hero to this hill, and then just look at the fight for the rest of the time. Like you don't, you don't have to be looking at your hero here at all. Like it's really important that you see what's going on here and who uses what spells, those sorts of things. Um, the fight is pretty much over, so that's fine. But you still want to be watching. Yeah. Okay. But in this case, you should definitely head towards uh, either top or bottom. I would say top is like slightly better. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you yeah, at this point, I was pretty confused. Like, am I making the right movement? Yeah, well, this is hard um, because, like, the lanes are already pushed out, you know, a little bit. Um, so basically, you just have to farm, or you have to go to the place where you think you're going to get the most farm in this case. Um, I would say, I said, I mean, I immediately said top because, like, okay, they just want a team fight. They might go Roche. So you don't want to go bottom. That's, like, my reasoning for saying uh, go top immediately. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. if you're pushing top, then it's harder for them to do Roche, or it's like they'll be trading something for Roche, or maybe like even better, they might like pull off of Roche so they don't lose this tower, which is like pretty unlikely, but it, it could happen. Sure. So I think your pathing here should should have just been like run straight down mid, go up this way. You could stop and do this camp, that's fine, but really, um, your main goal is to go this way, then end up pushing top. Okay. Um, like uh, one more thing. Is this regarding the ancients? Like when you stack ancients on troll, is it worth to, is it worth to stack ancients on troll basically? Because I don't think it's that great. That, that. Yeah, he's not that great at it unless you have Magnus on your team. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I think um, just talking about or, um, talking about using the HOD as a scouting tool is slightly better. Um, that or you could use it for farming like other camps. Like you could get a tornado creep and push out a wave with it. Um, that's good. You could get a, a satyr and push out a wave with that. That's good as well. Um, yeah, I don't think it's that great on troll personally, and it takes him a long time to do it too. So I just I don't know. I'm not a fan. Okay. It, the one thing that's nice about ancients is it gives you like consistent farm for a little bit. Um, it's not like super fast by any means, but it does give you like a fair amount of farm. Yeah. And you can like pretty reliably do it after you get HOD and SNY. Yeah. But uh, what do you think about my SNY timing here? It's not that great, right? Uh, yeah, it's fairly slow. I mean, you got HOD, um, Phase and Aquila, so yeah, it is fairly slow. Um, Why do you think that? Could, what could be the reason for that? Well, remember, I, I was like, remember every single time that we talked about like, okay, you should have been pushing here, or you should have been like doing a neutral camp instead here, um, or like your farming pattern here was like a little bit inefficient. Um, you should have started from this angle here and gone down. Um, th that's what it really is about like every time you you do something like that it's like you miss out on a certain amount of cs like your your gold per minute goes down so it's really just all of those things added up it's nothing like crazy um yeah 
Also, sometimes, like, at 26 minutes on Troll, you, you've you probably gotten a Roche before, like, around this time, or, like, before it. So that could also inflate your golds. Um, so, yeah, it could, it's a bunch of different things, really, but it mostly comes down to efficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that you're pushing top here. Still got a TP, great. Also watching the fight, fantastic. Okay, definitely go melee to hit it. But, yeah, okay, melee has a faster base attack time than ranged. So you attack faster as melee, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Also, like, you have to wait for the projectiles with when you're ranged, so it's, like, you know, that much faster as well. Um, okay. I think, like, since... Since Batrider is still showing, if he's not TPing, you should just go. Actually, is he showing? Uh, yeah, I was like contemplating that here. Yeah. Mm. It looks like you guys still have vision. This is Radiant Vision. You're pushing top right now. Okay, yeah, you have vision of Bat this whole time. You lose it here, but then you gain it again. Because Sniper was standing next to him and he was right clicking. Okay. Um, honestly, you could have pushed, and that would have been okay. He could have forced a TP, uh, but you would have to back right away. It's like that's a tough decision, and you have to like really, really be comfortable doing that. So I'm fine with you backing up there. Third, so uh, I was playing a very defensive play style. Mm -hmm. That that's fine. Defensive is good, as long as you're not passive. It, it's good. Okay. You look a little, a little lost here. Which is okay. It's gonna happen. Okay. So, let's look at your decision making, like... Starting from when you TP down here. So here you do this camp and then TP out, which is pretty fine. I think you could have gotten away with, like, doing this camp and then farming up. And doing these two camps as well. I think that would have been really good. Um, just so you can, like, farm up and clear your way out. Since um, the enemy team is likely coming this way. Or going, you know, up through lane, something like that. Um, it's like pretty easy to infer that since they were just mid. I think that would have been good. Um, then when you TP, I like that you went to this camp first. Um, but after that, I think you should honestly just go small camp, then large camp. I think that makes more sense. Okay. It takes me to the lane. Yeah. Fast. Yeah, pretty much. And then like if you can farm the lane and it's you know safe enough too, that's great. You can do it. If not, then you can just uh, wait and then farm downward. That'd be fine. You end up missing a, a small camp respawn, but that's fine. It's whatever. This is pretty risky. That rider was just showing around bottom. Okay. So it's like, it's good because you have Ricky here, so you're relatively safe, but I'm curious to see like what they were doing during this time. Okay, so Bloodseeker and Bite Rider were actually here, it looks like. So, okay. So I was correct in assuming that it was like a little risky. It was just weird because like Batrider had just shown bottom, and uh, you guys pushed that together. It that would be not acceptable if you were solo, but because you have the Ricky, I think it's okay. Um, you know there are enough people showing that aren't Batrider and uh, Bloodseeker that you can get away with that. Just be really mindful of that. Okay. Okay. This is unfortunate. Every camp in the jungle is cleared out, <laughs> so you gotta go mid. Okay, that's fine. Just be careful again. Jug goes to Ancients. Okay. Um, this is part of the reason why split pushing is so nice, is because usually it involves you like being top or like bottom, and you can get these camps. Um, it's just it's tough in this situation, honestly. Um, I would say this is a good time for you guys to smoke after you push out waves, uh, because there's not there's no like clear objective here. Um, you guys can smoke and just try to go on somebody when they're split up. Otherwise, it's just going to be like you guys are all farming your jungle, and it's hard to make space really against a bat rider. I do like that you went straight towards bottom. This is fine. Okay, Chug gets caught. This looks like a really good fight. Okay, careful. Okay. Okay, so overall this was pretty good. 
Um, just when you're ruptured, just switch to ranged and uh, start hitting people. You can just attack move um, instead of trying to chase this guy. Other than that, this is, this is totally fine. I have no issues with this, really. You guys like to go mid afterward. Completely fine with me. Ideally, right now, your supports would get some wards up, but can't have everything. <laughs> okay, so you actually just did something really funny. I don't know if this is like intentional or not, but a lot of people no, no. when yeah okay um, when a lot of people when they see someone start attacking a tower, they'll just glyph right away. And this is something that like is really really game like losing. Actually, like the thing you did was really good, and you want to do this. Um, you can just like fake that you're you know going in on the tower, and people will just you know instantly blow fortify. Um, there weren't even any creeps here. It doesn't make any sense, but this is like a phenomena that happens like a lot. So that was that was actually that was pretty funny. Of my impatience. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Because that's actually like a, that's a good play. That's something you can do. Um, that's like a psychological thing, really. But yeah, that's something you can attempt to do as long as it's safe. Sure. I mean, we kill. We won a team fight, so I was like, I can be in front and do that. Yeah, you were fine. No reason to worry, really. Um, here, because Juggernaut or Ricky is farming top, you should farm towards bottom here. I think you're ready to push that out. Okay. So Dragonite gets caught. Yeah, Looks actually, like he, want to he catches a smoke gank from them. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so actually, later. yeah, if you had gone bottom, you actually probably would have, uh, you would have been the recipient of this, or maybe Dragonite still screens for you and, and takes it. But yeah, um, that's interesting. Okay. It looks like they want to go rush here. You guys do have a BKB, um, and they don't have lasso. I think you could take this personally. You don't have the best fighters by any means, but um, okay, they're not they're not even rushing, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, definitely, what you, like the last thing you want to do is do what you're doing right now. Don't stand under tower. You have a TP for being under tower, so just immediately, like as soon as you see you know a bunch of people here, you should immediately run top. Um, if you don't plan on killing these guys by yourself, mm -hmm. that should be your play. Okay, you do end up doing that, which is good. Just a little bit late. Okay, good. You're not TPing yet. Okay, you decide to TP now, but okay, <laughs> sniper just turns around, and you get a first hit bash because you know why not. Okay. Okay, so it works out, um, but I. Don't think this is like a, a good quote unquote TP. Um, basically, from the point at which you TP, they could just run away and you wouldn't be able to do anything. Um, in this case, a sniper like turns around and tries to go for a fight, or he's like hitting creeps or something. I'm not sure what's going on here, but he's messing up pretty hardcore. Um, he is mana leaked, so maybe that's why. But even then, he, he still has plenty. I don't know. It's probably fine, but really, these guys could have gone away. But I think the TP was overall fine. Okay. Okay, get recalled again. How kind of your support. It would have been nice to be able to push that wave, but at least Dragonite's there. Yeah, this was a... You know, that, that Cordal was 3k. Mm -hmm. We were all, I was 2.6 and everyone else was like even less than that. So, yeah. Okay. I think the bad rider was also 3k, I can't remember. I need to... That's fine. What's, what's going on around here though? Like, Alright, so you guys were pushing mid. You decided to back up because sniper is respawning soon. You're playing against bat rider, gotta be careful. Um... Why'd you run towards bottom here, out of curiosity, instead of like running towards top? Mm. Uh, after that, maybe that's just the path that I felt comfortable with. Okay, because um, it does make more sense to go top. Since Juggernaut is already like down here, you don't want to like go and farm the same places that he's farming. So even if you feel unsafe, you can just run up this way instead. 
and farm these two camps, and these are relatively safe. Um, just be careful and be mindful of like where the enemies are, and you'll be fine doing that. You definitely don't want to go to the same place as Jug, because now like you guys are just farming in the same area. Um, you're going to encroach on each other's patterns. It's just going to be awkward. Um, it's going to be... And it's going to be inefficient as well, which is like you know more important. So you guys just cross each other. You, you go to that camp, but Jug already did it, so it's not there. Uh, I think you did end up going back to you know your medium camp, or you skip it and go mid. Um, yeah, it was just a little bit awkward. At least uh, somebody was farming top. Ricky was, so that's good. I like that you're pushing mid. <laughs> you back up when you feel unsafe. That's totally fine. They've been in fog for a while. Yep, that was a good play. I do think rather than going for Ancient Slay, you should go head towards top, um, even though Ricky's there. I think that makes more sense. Um, like, if they're ganking you mid, or if you're afraid of them being mid and you back up, they actually could just come from this way, right? And go from behind you and head to Ancients. So I think going straight up makes more sense. Um, then if they chase you all the way from, like, you know, mid all the way up to top, you know, whatever, that's fine. Um, you just made the move across the map. Obviously dying is bad, but yeah. Um... Yeah, in this point. game, I when I saw the replay, I saw that they were like constantly moving lanes just to get to where I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that should show you the power of like just you know pushing waves. Yeah. So you like to buy Shadow Blade here, presumably just to you know be a little bit more safe. Um, it is a bit iffy to go Shadow Blade. Um, it's good for Silver Edge in this game because of the Timber Saw, but you guys do have a Ricky. And I think Jug... No, Jug doesn't already have his, so okay. Um, but yeah, these guys are going to have detection. Or they, they should. The Bloodseeker has it, Oracle has it, Timber does not, Sniper does not, Batrider does not. So they, they already have detection, basically, because you have a Ricky. So just keep that in mind if you're going Shadowblade, when you have a Ricky on your team. Um, yeah. yeah. That's part of the reason why I was talking about Blink earlier as well. Um, that being said, Silver Edge is like, completely fine against the Timber. Um, you could also like opt for something in between and get an AC. That would be good for your team. Um, if Dragonite doesn't already have it, yeah, he doesn't. So you have four heroes that really benefit from the AC, and it's also good against the Timber because it reduces some of his armor. So that's an option. Okay, AC on Troll. I'm, um, I'm not done that ever. Mm -hmm. It's not fantastic, but it, it is nice, um, and it's good this game because you have a lot of physical damage on your team. Um, obviously, you know, buying attack speed on Troll is like. Not the best in a lot of cases, um, but it's not bad. AC is definitely a good item on him. Mm -hmm. I thought the DK would eventually make it. He went for the Mjolnir instead. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. This is pretty good. You guys find the bat. That means you guys are relatively safe for a pretty long time here, which is excellent. Okay. Oh. You went all the way back to base, um, I guess. Just to... Oh, I made a mistake here. I mean, they were using the courier and they fucked it up. I mean, I wanted the ultimate out from the side shop, so I just thought I'll, you know, get it done. Okay, but oh, that's whatever. Um, it's inefficient, but it's acceptable, I guess. Um, I would have gone bottom here personally, but yeah, that's okay. It won't make too big of a difference in the end. That's just like, those plays basically subtract from your GPM, so just keep that in mind. Um, okay. So you guys are ready to fight. You got BKB, got your Silver Edge, you're very strong. Um, I like that you waited to initiate there. That was really, really, really good. You didn't just immediately go on them. Okay, should hit the timber there. Yeah, okay. So let's watch the rest of this, and then uh, we can switch. Okay, timber uses himself. Hit Oracle. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Let's go all the way back. So fight starts off, you basically just shadow walk in. Okay. Then you wait to hit the Bloodseeker, which is really, really good. You also get a lucky first hit bash, but that's fine. You kind of got rewarded for your patience. You wait till this guy is farther out. 
Or that's you know what I'm thinking you're thinking anyway. So that was good. You do a ton of damage to this guy. He has to get saved by Oracle. That's free. Here, you should just be hitting the Timber Saw. There is literally no reason for you to be afraid of this guy. You're BKB'd. He can't do anything to you. The only thing yeah, he can do that's... What? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. The only thing he can do that is good is Yules himself. And that's not even like, uh, what does that do to you? That doesn't matter. It just means you can't do anything to him for 2.5 seconds. So, what were you going to say? Uh, it was a blade mail, so... I don't know. Uh, he blade mails himself. So I just stopped hitting him. I mean, ever since that change, mm -hmm. it's pretty annoying. Yeah, it is annoying, but you, you're full HP, and you have lifesteal. Mm-hmm. Like lifesteal is like the natural counter to, um, to blade mail. It's not a, a counter, but it's it's naturally good against it. Um, if you were low HP, I'd say that's acceptable. But because you're a troll and you have lifesteal, um, it's not acceptable here. Honestly, um, you're not in any danger, and you won't be in any danger for a long time. So it doesn't matter if you lose a little bit of HP. Like, look, let's look at how much damage you take in this case. You're at 2350 roughly. Okay, so you lost what 90 HP from that. Okay, you only, you only you hit him once, which is um, what I'm going off of here. 23... Okay, yeah, you lost about 90 HP from that. Mm -hmm. Which is like nothing, really. Plus you have yeah. Lifesteal, plus you have Regen going. Um, there's no reason to be afraid of Blade Mail in this case. Um, yeah. Don't worry about it, really. Okay. So here, the Timber actually ends up going on you. You wait for Silver Edge, which is fine. Um... Here I, th I thought you should hit the Oracle instead. Um, you do end up killing the Bloodseeker, which is nice. Um, I guess Oracle is not as useful because he already used mech, he already used his ult, and he doesn't have much mana. So you were correct about the target selection there. Um, definitely want to back here though, like because every every kill from here on relies on these guys making like stupid mistakes, like not using their spells or just like letting you hit them. Um, so after you get that kill, you should just back. Um, not much else to say about that really. Like, there's no way you should kill any of these heroes by just running at them at this point, so... Maybe if you had BKB, this would be different, but you don't, so... Yeah, Yeah, I think I was overconfident here. Mm -hmm. I could, like, just man-fight them to death. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's okay. But uh, one good thing was that only Oracle and this uh, Bat Rider survived, so I was not scared of any push. Yeah, it's not like they can just get towers or whatever. So it's bad that you, you gave up your streak. Um, you were a pretty high net worth, but, you know, not the end of the world by any means. Um, Alright. At this point, I was, like, telling them to kill Oracle. That was, like, my first... Um, yeah, chat. somebody somebody's got to. Okay, so you end up TPing to this fight. Oracle is dead, so this, this looks like a good fight to me. Um, you also have a really, 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 really nice flank coming. Uh, Bloodseeker gets double kill, okay. Yep, okay, good. Immediately kill that guy. Yeah, this fight's won. Okay, awesome. So this is mostly because um, Oracle got picked off at the start by Ricky, I think it was. Um, but this is good. Then you immediately call for Rush. Yeah, that was great. There's like no reason uh, Juggernaut should be mid right now. He should be doing Rush with you. Uh, I thought I should do it solo. Really? So I think I think I said I'll solo it. I mean, let him push, you know, like take that tower. Okay. Um, if you guys do it together though, at the same time, like, it makes more sense if you think about it. Like, okay, maybe Juggernaut can like go push a wave mid and keep Sniper there, but um, he should really like help you do Roche as quickly as possible. Um, that like minimizes th uh, any like kind of thing going wrong. You know what I mean? Like, okay. It just it doesn't really make sense for him to for you guys to split up in this case. Like, you guys are both really, really good at doing rush, so why would you split it up um, in this case? Like, you can... Okay, let's, like, think about what could possibly happen here. Um, if Sniper, instead of going mid, chooses to harass you at rush, what do you do? Like, if he chooses to shrapnel over the wall and just hit you, because Sniper has that kind of range. He can hit from here to here. Mm -hmm. What happens? I just happens? thought he would... He would... Okay, I mean, obviously I get guided. Right. I have to walk out. Pretty much. Right. Okay, so that doesn't really change with uh, Jug being there, in all honesty. 
actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But it does minimize the amount of time that like a uh, sniper will have to do that. Um, and also Healing Ward can help out with that as well. But yeah, either way, um, I think you guys should do Roche together there. If you're really concerned about like uh, the mid-wave, then you can push out the wave together and then head towards Roche. That'd be fine. Mm-hmm. I think you guys should stick together here, though. But that's pretty minor, in all honesty. The important thing is that you guys, um, you knew to do Roche, which is good. Oh, that's a BKB. All right. So let's watch this last fight and then call it a day here. Um, okay. Okay. So you get Yules. You still have BKB, so you don't have to use it, or you don't have to worry it yet. You get Rupture, that's fine. Yep, good, you're fighting. Okay. So I have no issues with how that went down. Um, just like, it's important that you know where Oracle is at the start of the fight, and I'm not sure if you did. Um, he was dead halfway through it. Here, yeah, you guys see Oracle in lane. See, so you know you can go on the sniper, and that's totally fine. Uh, if you get a bash, he'll die. So, okay, this is, this is totally fine. No issues with this at all. All right, so um, I think we should wrap things up there. Overall, like you're honestly on the right track. Like, yeah. it seems you've absorbed the information pretty quickly. Um, it's still like pretty shaky. Like you're not super comfortable with it. Like that much is really obvious, but it shouldn't be like you shouldn't be really comfortable with it yet. Um, but overall, I think like you you played better than a 2.6k carry. Um, you could have gotten more CS in lane, of course. Everyone can. Um, could have been a little bit more aggressive at times. You could have, you know, had let aggro creeps less. But overall, I think like you, you played fine. Um, All right. I think if you, like you're on the right track. Yeah. Uh, sorry to put it to you, but uh, don't we have a two-hour session today? Uh, well, okay. You signed up for two hours, yes, but I don't do two-hour sessions. I have that on my uh, profile page. Oh, okay. So, so we have to take it forward later. Uh, yeah, no, of course. So we'll All have right. to. Um... I think it sounds better actually. Mm -hmm. I want to play some more games and we can. Yeah, that's what I found is like one. I don't like doing two-hour sessions because like people tend to get tired. I know I do. Um, I'm not good at talking for you know even an hour straight, so that's good. Yeah, and it's also like almost eleven in the night here. So oh, okay. I was like. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that works out then. Um. But I just wanted to put it out there, you know. Like, yeah. No, of course. If you thought it was a one. Yeah. Okay. No, but anyway, yeah, uh, this game, I I felt good. I felt like okay, I, because uh, we were like under some. Uh, at least my team was under some pressure in the beginning. You know, mm -hmm. we were like nine twenty all kill score. So right. No, this is you guys are definitely down at this point or at a, a later point. So you definitely won the economy war for your team in this case. Um, and you didn't even play perfectly, like or even close to it, which is cool, right? Like you just you applied a little bit of the split pushing and like getting people to chase you around the map a little bit, um, and it like it worked wonders. I mean, I'm assuming like you guys just continue to win from here. Maybe you have like a, a few ups and downs, but um, yeah, yeah. I do some aggressive plays here, and mm. I thought my team. Okay. Would me up. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's, that's what's going to happen. That's the only way to learn, really. Um, yeah. But yeah, okay. So, no, I'm glad this is working out for you. That's that's good to hear. Yeah. Um, actually, like, I have some closing questions. Like, um, sure. Like, what about heroes like Slark and, uh, you know, Slardar or Chaos Knight or something? Can we apply the same principles to such aggressive carries? I mean, yeah. who, like, farm heroes rather than... Creeps. Yeah, no, you still apply the split pushing, but it's like, um, when you're playing troll, you look for kill opportunities too, but most of the time when you're playing troll, it's like you can't just run up to a hero and kill them, right? Um, whereas when you're playing Chaos Knight or Sark, you can actually just run up to people and kill them, like when you're playing those heroes. Um, yeah. Troll doesn't have the same like initiation power, so you just kind of like, you still split push, that's still your primary objective, but like your kill radius on Sark or Chaos Knight is larger, so to speak. So like if anyone walks in there, or if you can like you know predict where people are coming, or walking or whatever, then you can start getting solo pickoffs. Um, the Chaos Knight, Chaos Knight is a bit strange, so I don't really recommend him, but he's fine and he can he can do the same things. Yeah, but he, he's a monster. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, he's just weird. That's all. Yeah, but uh, another thing, like I'm having a very tough time with Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. uh, if you check my Dota buff. Um, can you just open my door above? Yep. Go to my... If you go 
to like the eight four five game uh, seven days ago. Okay. Up, up, yep. Down. Yeah, that one. If you could. I shared the idea of that. I thought we would uh, go through it, but yeah, this game. I don't know. I'm I'm just not good with this hero. Something's wrong. Okay. You know. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna try to download this now if I haven't already. Um, I might have already downloaded it if you told me to. Um, yeah, I already have this one yeah. downloaded. Cool. Okay, so great. we can we can go back and watch this at another point if like you don't find a better one. Um, okay. So. Yeah, I mean, Jug is, like, fairly challenging. The only thing with Jug that I can give you as, like, a, you know, general tip is just don't treat him like a tank. Um, he's definitely, like, a, an assassin kind of fighter. Um, he stays on the outsides of fights um, until he's ready to go in, and then he goes in really hard with Omni Slash. Or, like, you blink Abyssal Manta and just, like, crush somebody really quickly. Um, you definitely don't just, like, run at people and then press your buttons and, you know, attack them and mana fight them. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Other than that, you just apply the same split-pushing principles, though. Yeah, I was actually... What do you think about the Battle Fury build in this one? I think Battle Fury Manta is always a good build. Mm -hmm. You always recommend Battle Fury? Yep. Okay. Uh, actually, I posted this in... Uh, you know, you know, Learn Dota uh, subreddit, right? Yeah. I mean, you posted it there. Mm -hmm. That's how I found you. Right. Uh, over there... One guy was like, why make Battle Fury against AM, uh, you know, uh, Drow? They're going to, like, split push you to death in the late game. I mean, there's no hope with Battle Fury. That's what the feedback was. Okay, so his idea was going S and Y then, I'm assuming, and just, like, uh, pushing no, towers or whatever? It was, like, drums, S and Y. You know, drums, my oh, entire okay, okay. like that. Don't build drums and Juggernaut anymore. That's wrong. Um, the S and Y build, like, there is some... You could make an argument for it, but... The thing with that is, like, if you go S and Y, you have to be either really fucking good, like miracle level good, um, you know, the pro player, in order to yeah, yeah. like continue farming and also like fight with your team as well, um, or you just need to crush the enemy team so hard through team fights, and that means that they have to like fight you. Um, they can they can choose to split push and like do the same things that you do to your team, or you do to the enemy team, and fuck with you that way. Um, that's why I always recommend going battle fear on this hero, is because it allows you to keep pace with heroes like Anti-Mage or Drow or whatever. Um, obviously, if an Anti-Mage gets his Battle Fury before you, you're not going to out-farm him. That's that's obvious. Um, that's not, like... it's not, No, we uh, got it at the same time, pretty much. Yeah, and even then, he's going to out-farm you then. Um, that's just what yeah, Anti-Mage yeah. does. Yeah, with the blink and stuff. Yeah, I mm. figured. Yeah, but you're still Juggernaut. Yeah. And you can still fight. And you're still really strong. Um, I just go Battle Fury as, like, an insurance policy thing. Um, there is an argument you could make that S&Y might be better, but it involves team play. And I play Dota as a single player game in most games. Yeah, yeah, I want to do the same. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, so I was like split pushing a lot. If you see my last hits, it's, I don't know if it's great or not, but I was trying to do the same thing that I was doing with Troll in the previous game, but it was just too tough. Right. After like 40 minutes, pretty much, it was like going downhill. Okay, yeah. Um, that's fine. In this game, like, they don't really have the best team fight at all, honestly. So you can just get like get your items, get get up to Manta, and then you can start fighting, um, or Manta Blink, whatever you feel like it. As long as you're farming relatively quickly, you'll be fine. Um, uh -huh. You just want to make sure that you're make you're taking decisive fights, and yeah, you'll be fine. You say fighting, but you can't like rely on proper ganks by your team, right? No, but you can push towers like constantly like when you when you split push constantly that as long as your team isn't like sitting in fountain then they're going to like do something eventually right like that happened yeah. in the last game yeah so you're going to be able to go to fights eventually um whether or not it's like you know 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever is up to your team but like split pushing it allows you to make stuff happen for your team basically like yes maybe these guys won't do it themselves but that's not like that's kind of part of matchmaking, really. I don't really have any any other advice for that. Um, and maybe, like, okay, if they don't ever do anything, then yeah, maybe you'll lose. Maybe you just get outscaled. Yeah. Like, would um, you be able to win this game on your own if you go S and Y and just kill everyone? Like, no would you way. be comfortable saying that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I tried this game. I mean, I didn't feed, but I lost some. I was, like, playing very defensively in this one. Like, just constantly split pushing. 
Yeah, well, you should split push, but you need to like be um, opportunistic about it. Um, these guys are really weak. Like, they're not strong heroes. Yeah. Like, they're strong when they get a ton of items, but like, okay, Drow doesn't scale very well. Or Drow scales very well, but she's weak early. Um, she's strong at about level 6-ish, but not strong enough to like take on a Juggernaut. Same with Anti-Mage. Invoker's, you know, same thing, honestly, too. Marana, same thing, honestly, too, especially when she's support. Um, Lena, same thing. Like, they're all actually really weak early. Except Lena is, like, you know, relatively strong, but she's still really squishy. And you can kill her, like, pretty easily. So, honestly, this is you probably just weren't aggressive enough to win this game. Um, you might have just, like, respected them too much when you were ganking or whatever. Or split pushing, rather. Mm. All right. I mean, it's like an old game now, so. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably hard to remember, but either way. Um... No, I remember, but I don't remember the exact ganks, but I felt pretty butthurt about it. Like, <laughs> okay. Like, I thought I was, like, split pushing. I was doing what, you know, fundamentals, right? But, yeah. Anyway, but losses are a part of it. I, I don't want to talk about that. Yep, of course. All right, then. Okay. I guess we'll call it a night now. Uh, sure, let's do that. Um, hope this was helpful, of course. Yeah. Um, all right, if you have and, any other questions, uh, feel free to send it my way, okay? All right, sure. What were you going to say? Um, I don't know, any other closing tips to, like... <laughs> don't eat yellow snow. Sorry? <laughs> don't eat yellow snow. Don't eat yellow, sorry? It don't eat yellow snow. Uh, Wait, I just realized, okay, that you probably don't have snow where you live. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, so that was like I, a very American I'm joke, desert, sorry. I'm in the desert, man. Yeah, okay. I'm in the desert. Um, okay, so I guess I should explain that. Um, basically, like, when it snows on the ground, um, animals will, like, walk around and they'll pee in the snow and it will be oh, yellow. Right. So you shouldn't okay. eat yellow snow. Um, yeah. That... I completely didn't like even acknowledge that anyone could possibly live anywhere else except for where I live there. That was very American of me. Uh, apologies. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> we should probably end it there. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, good luck. All right. Uh, probably we'll have a session a bit later then. Don't keep it like next week. Keep it next to next week, I guess. Yeah. Don't let me play some games. Mm -hmm. No, of course. All right. Okay, so we, we, we'll connect later, and uh, we'll set it up, okay? All right, see you, Tyler. All right, peace, dude. Good luck. Yeah.